Hi, my name is Ami Fliss and I'm the resident director of the Georgetown program in Madrid. Participants in our study abroad program will directly enroll in regular university classes with the Spanish degree seeking students. In this video, I hope to share with you some of the differences between the two host institutions so you can make a more informed decision on which university you would like to attend. The first university I'll present is the Universidad Pontificia Comillas, a small private Jesuit institution with approximately 13,000 students. This university hosts many international agreements with institutions from all over the world, including double degrees with a number of foreign universities. Thus, there are many classes offered in English, and there's a large international student population. Comillas has two important campuses, the City Center campus, located in Madrid, and the Canto Blanco campus. Students may take classes from both campuses. The Madrid campus is an urban one, located in the Arguelles neighborhood, and consists of four buildings found in a three-block radius. Both undergraduate and graduate degrees are offered here. The primary school our students attend is the Business and Economics School, located in the ICADE building. In addition to business-related degrees, they also offer a joint degree in International Relations, which is quite popular amongst our students. This campus includes facilities such as the library, the gymnasium, and the computer and study rooms. There are a variety of student clubs and many organized extracurricular activities, sports, and religious events. The Canto Blanco campus is 15 kilometers from Madrid with direct access by commuter train. This small American-style campus harbors the School of Humanities and Social Sciences that includes degrees in theology, psychology, philosophy, and international relations, among others. Sports and library facilities, as well as extracurricular opportunities, are also found here. Comillas offers its foreign students a series of special courses. Amongst these are some Spain-specific humanity classes, such as Spanish film. GU students may take up to two of these courses or choose to take a Spanish language class in addition to the direct matriculation classes in the regular degrees. This prestigious university follows the Jesuit ethos. It has a low student-faculty ratio and well-equipped classrooms. They also offer advisors to help students with their registration and academic needs. The main difficulty lies in the fact that there are often scheduling conflicts because of the reduced class offerings, the commute between campuses, and the many classes that are taught in English. The second host institution is the Universidad Complutense de Madrid, a large public university of over 70,000 students. It was founded in 1822 in Madrid, but has its origins in a 16th century academic institution. The Complutense is the alma mater to many famed public figures and Nobel Prize winners, both in the sciences and in the arts. The primary campuses are found in Madrid and in Somos Aguas, a Madrid suburb. The Madrid campus is called Ciudad Universitaria, and it's near the Moncloa neighborhood and has its own metro stop. The majority of the university schools are found in this extensive campus, including the, all the science disciplines, education, communications, as well as humanities schools. This campus has three large sports centers and libraries and cafeterias in most of its buildings. The smaller Somos Aguas campus is a few kilometers away and accessed by bus. Here we find the schools of political sciences, sociology, business and economics, among others. This campus also has a sports center, libraries, and similar facilities. Students may attend classes on both campuses, as well as participate in the many clubs, intramural sports, and cultural events organized by the university. Georgetown forms part of the Universidades Norteamericanas Reunidas, a consortium of American study programs at the Complutense. This consortium is regimented by the three humanities schools. They offer Leonidas students courses in different fields ranging from Spanish economics to service learning classes that complement the regular university degree classes. Georgetown students may take up to two of these courses in addition to the direct matriculation classes. One of the strongest aspects of the Complutense is the immense number of classes offered in many fields. Most classes are taught in Spanish, so between these two factors there are many more course options. This highly ranked public university offers a more diverse student population, though classes tend to be much larger as well. 
However, due to its size, the general organization, school calendars, and registration procedures are a bit more chaotic, and the building and facilities are not state-of-the-art. So when making your choice, you should first concentrate on which university fits your academic needs. You can see the video tutorials on preparing study plans for the two institutions to help you determine this. If both universities meet your criteria, then you will need to decide if you prefer a smaller university, more similar to Georgetown, or a large public university offering a different university experience. I am sure that after a little research, you will make the choice that is best for you. If you have more questions, please contact your OG advisor or myself and see the other academic presentations.